Hi everyone, so I haven't posted a video up recently, like in the past few days, I've just not been feeling up to filming at all. It, I've got mental problems, so quad, I have problems sleeping a lot as well, so I've been awake during the day, not the, I've been awake during the night, not the day, so like, I can't film in the night. So yeah, but anyway, um, some more flying bag stuff, but um, uh, I'm just going to show, uh, this uh, is going to be in the next video, it is a secret stone spongebob thing, and as you can see, it's like little characters, um, sorry it's not pretty clear, but you can get the picture, you know, but um, you see the thing is, I can't do it on a video as unboxing, because, um, if I show you, these things are only a pound. Now, I'm really shocked and I'm really surprised that they were only a pound. But, if I show you, um, if I could get into the plastic thing, it's annoying to get into this box without ripping the box open. But, um, the point of this is it's actually in a block of sand. So, in the shape of obviously the crusty crab sort of thing, I'm guessing, but like really cheap, you know, basically, you know, treasure chest looking thing. But, um, yeah, um, obviously, I'm not going to be able to open this in one go because these things take forever to get through. Um, my brother's going to do them for me, he's going to open them up for me. He's opened up one already. Um, and it took him over 40 minutes, that's why I can't do it on a video, obviously. But, um, you know, for a pound, these are brilliant, because that's the thing that it come in, you, obviously, you know. But um, you even get the little tools. But the little tools are, like, pretty cute, because they're, like, um, wooden little, you know, little hammer and little chisel. But them things, you, do, you don't have to throw them away, so you could just find something else to do with them. So, for a pound, pretty decent. Um, now... Unfortunately, the whole wherever this has come from is definitely not the UK because um, there is no English on this box apart from Secret Stone and Spongebob. Yeah. Oh, uh, and Nickelodeon, obviously. But none of it is in, in English. Um, I think it's in Italian, French, and um, German. Yeah, I don't speak any of them. But you can kind of guess, you know, what they say and stuff. But, um, yeah. Um, the company that these are from are from Simba. Now, I have to say, um, Simba, I don't think it was a good idea to use for your company logo, if you can see that. Um, yeah, it's a bit hard to see, but there's an, it's like that little, like, thing there, um, and it's an elephant humping the logo, really, an elephant humping the logo, but, yeah, anyway, that's for another episode, um, but, um, right, um, so I haven't boxed it, but obviously, I can't get into the actual prize thing, because, I can't obviously get into it, and it'll take 40 minutes, and I'm not doing it on video. So, for the video today, that's the next video, okay? So it's like the preview and the thing. But this, this video is Monster Marbles. Um, now, you see, I was looking at these packet, and I've already found a problem. The packet at the top, their thing says... For five, uh, ages five and up, right? So, ages five and up. But on the back, it uh, has that little sad onion thing where it says, uh, you have to be three and up. So, you can reckon there's going to be some arsehole who's going to pick these up and they're going to go, oh, I can give this to my three-year-old. And if they say anything, you know, it's on the back, you know. You know, it's... It's fine, you know, it's, I can give it to my three-year-old because it says a three-year-old, but, uh, you know, you then they've got the packet at the top bit that says five-year-old, so, yeah, they 
probably should have sort of looked at that before. Um, I got these from the works, and I, I, I like I like the company name. Wow, we kind of reminds me of Wally, and they've even got um, a little um, sort of like a robot thing at the top, sort of thing. If I had a better camera, I'd show you the proper thing. This is why I need to get a new camera, but don't worry, I will be getting one, hopefully. <sighs> well, when I can get the money together. Um, but anyway, um, so, start opening, I suppose. Um, it's one of these packets that, obviously, it's going to be a pain to get in. Trusty scissors. Oh no, I've cut Wowie's head off. Oh well. Um, apparently there's a set of rules or something. Some, like, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, some, some rules in um, English and French. But you also get the list of characters you can get. Obviously, the, you know, fancier ones, the rarer ones and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, um, you can get, like, glow-in-the-dark ones or silver or gold or something like that. Oh, they like how, and they're also at the side, it tells you how many points they're worth. So I'm guessing this is like proper game that, you know, for little kids, well, not for little kids, but mm. can you imagine if you actually played the games like you spent, the winner's supposed to get your marbles, aren't they? Like, you know, the winners get the marbles. Can you imagine the amount of tears and fussing and just. But actually, now, what am I saying? You know, kids nowadays, they've got iPads. What's the point? Um, oh. Um, I seem to, they're actually not marbles like I thought the marbles would be, they've basically got a little bit of plastic and they've stuck one of these little balls inside it. I thought they were marbles, not, you know, these little things, but, um, like in the monster, he's very, um, thing. Now, I think he's actually a translucent one, yeah, he's the translucent one, and his name is... Chuckles. Chuckles. That's Chuckles. You're kidding. Chuckles? I couldn't think of a bit of a better name than that, or a bit of at least a monster name, not... Chuckles. <sighs> Originality is down the pan for this company, I say. Wally? What am I saying there? They took kind of like took the Wally. Wally. Wowie. You know, name. Yeah. Turn the line there. Right, well, that was. I do say they are actually pretty decent quality, you know. Paint works pretty decent, you know, like, um. They've not just splodged the colours on and stuff, you know, because you do sometimes just get little toys like this that have just, they've not even taken time and care with them. So, paintwork-wise, it's good, and the plastic quality looks good. You know, and I suppose this is, like, quite a decent, better than actual marbles, because these things actually can stop and they don't just roll away, or, you know, you could use them as different than marbles, because there is actually, like, on the thing, like, uh, four games to play and then make your own games up, which, you know, it's a good idea, you know, but you don't need to tell kids to make up their own games, because I made so many games up when I was younger. So, there's the first one. I don't think he's going to be called Chuckles. You know, I think I'll find a better name for him. Or if you'd like to suggest a name, suggest a name. Now, uh, second one, all the same bullshit again, you know. It's supposed to be for five-year-olds, but they've apparently put the naught to zero not allowed on you on the back. So, well done. 
Um, again, the rolls and oh, I um have a silver one. Um, for the um, the light is really buggy. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I got a silver one. Um. To be honest, the silver one looks a lot less quality than the green one. Because that's only one colour, so they've literally just like thrown the colour on it and it's silver. There's no... I thought they'd at least give it eyes or something, or some sort of detailing, but they've not even done that. They've not even coloured its teeth or anything, or its eyes. They've just sort of... Yeah, mate, we're going to make this silver, so just throw it in the silver pot. It's, you know, nice of them to do that, isn't it? But he's worth a thousand points, and his name is... I thought it couldn't get as worse than Chuckles. Candy Freak. You are... Kidding. I thought Chuckles was bad enough for that thing, but this being called Candy Freak. Ugh. Sometimes you just think what goes on in these people's brains. I mean, they couldn't even Google Monster House. I mean, if I look at the names now, there's one called I See You. Are you? Kidding me? Oh, that's a great present for a kid in the ICU. Here you go, ICU. Here you go. There's a thing called ICU. Yay! So here's some originality. For a Cyclops looking one, they've got one eye. Let's see, what else have they got that's... Fish eye, the one that's a fish. Piers are all just... They've what got... IRV. It's just these names of Candy Freak. That's not a name. That is not a name, people. This is not a name. Candy Freak is not a name. You'd rather it be called like something like... Turbot. They've got another Cyclops one. What have they called that one? Cyclops. S I C L O P S. You guys are morons. Cyclops. <sighs> if there was just a bit of originality, it was just a bit of common sense. Google! Monster names! Seriously, you could have just googled monster names and come up with something better than Candy Freak for this one because this one is a piece of shit. To be honest, it's so that one is crappy quality. I like the green one better. It's a good job I got two more packets of bees, isn't it? Should we see what else I got for them and see which ones are worse? Um, I put. I wasn't going to open them because I thought that the other two would be so great or that they would be okay quality that I wouldn't need to, but now I've seen this, I just have to see what the other ones are. And if I get any copies, I'm going to be so annoyed. Now I've jinxed it, but oh well. Just cut through. Wowee. 
Nope, we've got a pretty frick looking one. Can you see this one properly? Sort of. The camera's a bit out of focus. I will take photos and put them at the end of the video. Yeah. Wonder what this one's called. Mouthy? Tooth? Lava? So big. But obviously, because it's got a bigger mouth than every other, but so big. I am about to go visit Wowie and give them directions to a computer to go on Google. Right. Last one. See what monstrosity this one is. Haha, <laughs> monstrosity. Oh no, I'm liking this one because I this obviously sorry. I I love sharks and this looks like a shark, so I'm loving this one. Okay, it looks incredibly like the Joker as well, and it's just this is what cartoon villains used to look like this is what the cartoon villains used to look like it is so cool i'm loving this one and it better have a good name to go with it shimsky shimsky Shim shimsky Shimsky. Is that supposed to be some sort of lang other language or something? You know, it was like... Seriously. Apparently your name is Shimsky. Shimsky. Is your name Shimsky? Because I think someone screwed you over there. Apart from its shitty name, I actually like this one. This one's most definitely my favourite because I love sharks. So, and it kind of does remind me of the Joker a little. So it's it's quite good. This one, I'm like, I like this one. This one, I will keep definitely. The others, um, I might give them to someone. Someone I know who's got kids who are. You know, if you like them sort of things, but this one definitely is going on my shelf of stuff. And I was right, that one figurine was moving. And, like I say, as long as it's not doing anything, I'm fine with it. But, out of all, I, I suppose, out of them, I'm going to open the other packets now, but. Two out of the four I would I like. So mm, it's one of them things, it's like there are gonna be obviously ones you don't like. It's just the names that get me. They're such shit names that they could have just gone to Google for. Like everyone else does nowadays. And it's just these I see you I I see you wanting chuckles. I could understand maybe this one being called Chuckles. This one makes sense of being called Chuckles. Oh, you can see it better there. I think that would be called Chuckles. I'd call that one Chuckles, maybe. You know. That one's got such a sour expression on its face. You really think that one is, you know, the best one's called Chuckles. I can sort of understand him as well because of his ginormous mouth kind of thing, you know, why they would call him so big. But this one, seriously, candy freak. You can't really see it very well on the camera because it's like the light's hitting it, but candy freak. The freak who made this idea and called it this is the freak. 
Ugh. Whatever. I'm, you know, like I said, I like two of them. The names are terrible. I might even just rename them. You know. But, um, yeah, for that, I mean, for, for 50p each, they work out pretty well, sort of thing, for 50p each. Um, if I paid any more than, say, a pound for them to all, you know, properly, then I would be really tipped off and I'd be, like, taking them back and lobbing them at the, uh, staff's head. But for, two for a pound, so I've got two for a pound, so it's 50p each, so pretty decent. Okay quality on three of them, shit quality on the last, like, the shit quality on that silver one, because they could have easily just put a bit of effort into the, you know, the eyes or the mouth or something, putting a bit more, I mean, if it's supposed to be more worth more points, surely it'd be the most detailed, not just, I'll just stick that one in the vat of silver, will ya? But, um, you thought it'd be more money to colour, to colour in the coloured ones than it is to colour in the silver ones. So, like, you'd have thought these three would cost more to colour in, you know, in just one of them than just one of them. Whatever. I'm rambling now. Um... Obviously, next video will be the Spongebob packet thing, whatever it was, Spongebob, um, brick, um, but, uh, I'm, I think I have a few videos in backlog that I've got that I can put up as well if, um, my brother doesn't have the time to get this out, um, but I have got the video, I've got like a video of him doing one of them with the tools that they were given and it took him 40 minutes um, and I said to Jeremy the next one he's allowed to use his power tools on it so that one shouldn't take too long but um, yeah that should either be up tomorrow or the day after depending on my mood because I have been in a bit of a crappy mood the past few days but hey ho uh, Nothing I can do about it. Um, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like these kind of videos that I'm doing, it'd be great if you could like leave a like or um a subs or subscribe to it because then you know what I'm doing. Um, I'm still doing Twitch. I'm practically doing that every night to be honest. Um, I'm doing all sorts of games so like little flash games, sims 2, um, I'm going to be doing Euro Truck, um, I just have to buy a controller first because, well I've, I've got like, I could buy an adapter for the computer because I've tried the keyboard and I basically just crash into everything. Um, yeah, but uh, also I'm doing like other just, just bits and pieces, sometimes I'm on there for an hour or so, but I'm doing the streams and stuff um, but you know I'll link obviously at the bottom for my Twitch, my blog, my Instagram um, and on the blog um, if you go on the blog you can help my channel out by donating even if it's 50p you know it could really help because the faster I get money the faster I can get a better camera, a better mic um, you know and I can do better videos sort of thing I can do better videos because um, at the moment this camera is like a two pound webcam and the one I want to get I've even got like on the Twitch channel I've actually got a, um, an Amazon list of what I'm going to get and what I'm uh, hoping to get and it will be like that's the list of stuff I really want to get because it's high quality stuff but not for an extortionate amount this is like stuff that other YouTubers use, like proper decent YouTubers. Um, so yeah, it's kind of wanting to, I really do want to do this, so um, it's trying to get everything sorted and stuff. Um, but obviously it's going to take a while to sort it all out. Um, 
with me just doing it all by myself. So, you know, any money would really help because then I can get it old and quicker for you, like everyone who wants to see this stuff. Um, I will maybe go down Birmingham in the next couple of weeks. And I know that there's some places there that do a lot of surprise bag stuff, but like pretty like different stuff so stuff you probably wouldn't get um over in England and I'm hoping that my American friend can send me some stuff from over there as well. Um but obviously if possible I'm just gonna see what happens with that. But yeah, like I say thanks for watching. Uh like, subscribe, whatever you wanna do. Um but yeah. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.